Hello, super coaches. Welcome to round nine. Plenty of great buys on the market this week. Let's do buy, hold, and sell. Ruben Garrick is in for me this week. You can pick him up for 604K, one of the greats of Supercoach over the last sort of half decade or so at that price is very hard to turn down. The buy coverage isn't it sensational, but I'm still bringing him in this week. David Armstrong is the cheapie of the week. Yes, you can wait around and it's probably wise to do so, but if you need money, you can just get on this week. Was really good on debut in place of Kalen Ponga. Try Fuller is another really good cheapie this week. If he was available at center wing for Supercoach, he'd be a must have. Unfortunately, only available at fullback, so you'd probably have to sell a gun to bring him in, which I don't want to do, but it looks like he'll make around 250K over the next couple of weeks before the hammer comes back and may even retain his spot when the hammer is back in that team. Adam Fanua Blake is the best prop in Supercoach this year. I think he'll finish top of that position. So this week is a decent round to get on. On, although he does not cover that round 13 buy. Jacob Gagai is popular. I won't be going there. I think Armstrong is a much better cheapie because Gagai's job security is not great with Latrell Mitchell and Alex Johnston due back into that team. David Fafita, I've been talking up for weeks and weeks at only 3% ownership. How is this guy at 3% ownership, whether he's on the bench, whether he's starting, he's just a superstar of super coach. I think you have to get him in and I'd actually have him ahead of Adam Fanor Blake this week if you have the right jewels. Now for the holds. I mentioned Tri Fuller before. A lot of people are selling Tom Trebojevic to get him in. I wouldn't be doing that. I know Turbo probably hasn't quite been at his best this year, but he's still scored the six most points of any player, and he's got a good matchup against the Raiders at home this weekend. Also on the holds, Apisai Coruscant has been named despite that back injury, which is good news for now. We'll keep an eye on late mail, but for me, I think he will be a hold onto the cells. Ethan Strange has done a great job for Supercoaches this year, but the trade up to Garrick doesn't cost you much at all. It's only 100k, so I'll be locking that in. Equally, James Schiller has done a sensational job, made a ton of cash, but he does have to go this week. He hasn't actually been named for the Raiders this round. Uh, Jack Bostock, obviously a really popular sell this week after making a heap of cash. Terrell May uh, is just so random with his minutes. Some weeks it's 60, some weeks it's 20. We just don't know what's happening with him. So I'll be selling this week up to Adam Fanua Blake. That is it for Buy, Hold, Sell. We'll catch you for the preview podcast at 11.30 a.m. on Thursday. See you then.